Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're talking about some new no-fly zones that are popping up around the country. Why isn't anybody talking about them and what do they mean for both hobbyists and the commercial drone sector? Let's dive in. We recently got word of a fresh batch of no-fly zones in UK. This was notified through a NOTAM or Notice to Air Missions, or Notice to Air Men, or there's a few other terms. This is an official notification issued to pilots and drone operators to inform them about temporary changes or hazards in the airspace. This can include restriction zones like air shows or obstacles like crane operations, even light displays. Checking NOTAMs ensures your flight is safe and compliant with the regulation. We often get notifications of temporary flight restrictions where you may need permission to fly, but it's quite rare to get a blanket no-fly zone. Having no-fly zones isn't exactly common, so their sudden appearance is causing a stir. Especially concerning is how it could affect unsuspecting new drone owners who just unwrap their shiny gifts. Let's look at one specific example, RAF Oakhanger in Hampshire. RAF Oakhanger historically served as a key Royal Air Force satellite communication station, supporting the UK's Skynet military satellite system. Established in the mid 20th century, it played a vital role in secure communications for British and Allied defences. Over time, it's transitioned some facilities to private and commercial users. On Christmas Day, I learned there was a NOTAM restricting flights within two nautical miles of RAF Oakhanger from December the 23rd until March 23rd, 2025. This radius even covers parts of a local town. On Christmas morning, plenty of kids and adults were excitedly opening their new drones and they probably never even find out they're about to fly in a temporary no-fly zone. So what's behind these restrictions? It's quite rare for a new no-fly zone to be introduced. We often hear about no-fly zones in forums, Facebook groups, or even certain apps, but actual designations tend to be infrequent. Personally, I prefer the term flight restriction zone because you usually need to request permission before flying in these areas. Normally that means contacting the number listed in the flight restriction zone details or no TAM. Here, there is no contact number given, which makes compliance trickier. You might ask, isn't it reasonable to protect such important sites? Absolutely it is. Under the National Security Act of 2023, flying a drone over a prohibited place can land you in serious trouble up to 14 years in prison, and that's no small penalty. Now the new no-fly zone around RAF Oakhanger is issued under the Air Navigation Order of 2016, Article 239. Breaching that can carry a maximum of two and a half thousand pounds in fines or up to five years in prison. So we effectively layered one severe penalty on top of another. Why add this extra legal complexity? This new no-fly zone is one of 12 to 15 I've seen around the country, but why? To answer that, let's zoom out and see what's happening around UK and globally. The urgent search for answers as drone sightings continue to grow in the northeast. Right, there are new sightings this morning of those mysterious drones. Most have been seen hovering over New Jersey, but now drones have also been spotted over New York City and in Pennsylvania. US bases have reportedly been under scrutiny due to drone sightings over the past three months in the US, UK, Germany and the Far East. Here in UK, the Aviationist website reported that two F-15E Strike Eagles were scrambled on November the 29th, 2024, possibly in response to a counter drone operation near RAF Filingdales and RAF Menwith Hill, both of which now have a new NFZ in place. But how reliable are these drone sightings? New Jersey Senator Andy Kim noted on X, formerly Twitter, on December the 20th that no drones have been detected via thermal radar, radio frequency or optical means in New York and New Jersey since new detection equipment was deployed earlier in December. Despite the lack of evidence, the FAA introduced additional flight restrictions in some areas as a precaution. Back in the UK, a Freedom of Information request by Ian Hudson, covering bases at Lake and Heath, Midden Hall, Feltwell and Fairfoot, turned up no evidence of near misses between November the 19th and December the 6th, 2024. You'd think that if drones were genuinely buzzing around active runways, there'd be an AirProx report, but apparently there was none. If you haven't heard of Ian Hudson, check out his work on the Gatwick drone incident, as well as his other freedom of information requests to try and get to the truth around news stories. If you don't know, back in 2018, Gatwick Airport was effectively shut down due to an alleged drone sightings. Spoiler, no actual sightings of drones were confirmed aside from the ones deployed to search for drones. This raises the question of why are we 
adding new restrictions when there's no real evidence. Drones already have a mixed reputation. A few irresponsible operators have done stupid things and the media loves a good scare story, making it easy to spread fear without thorough investigation. Meanwhile, the hard data shows there have been zero confirmed fatalities worldwide from civilian drones. None. Yet more restrictions keep coming. So if you're a drone enthusiast, what should you do to avoid breaking the law? Don't rely at all on the DJI Fly app. It's very unlikely to show short-term restrictions. Stay informed. If you check out your Angel's Drone Assist app, it will normally show no TAMs, but to be 100% sure, you can also check notams.info. You can also join the CAA's Skywise mailing list that will actually send you emails of upcoming restrictions. Social media can also be useful, but always check with the official sources. If you need to fly in a particular area, you can seek permission. Even if there's no contact info is given, try reaching out to the base's public affairs or security office. You might still be able to fly with proper authorization. More no-fly zones could be on their way, fueled by drone paranoia and unproven sightings. Yeah. Have you noticed any new no-fly zones in your area? Comment below if you've been affected. Don't oh, forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, fly safe and stay informed.